snow's blowing hard. There's no trace that we even arrived out here. What's up guys, it's Chad with Living the Van Life up here in Washington. Winter time is going off the hook up here in the North Cascades of Washington. Just found out that there is another winter storm warning for tonight and tomorrow night. We're gonna do a little bit of winter camping up here. We're actually meeting up with Mark from Trayvax. Also gonna check out his really cool camper that he's got going on, so we're pretty stoked about that. I think the funnest part about doing this winter camping stuff is getting up here when it's the most extreme. I've got the van packed up. We're headed up into the hills. The North Cascades of Washington are world famous and world renowned for the amount of snow accumulation that happens up here. The Mount Baker ski area actually holds a world record, 1100 inches of snow accumulation, which is pretty impressive. So with these winter storms that roll through, it's known to dump a large amount of snow. The National Weather Service has issued a blizzard warning. Severe winter weather conditions are expected or occurring. Heavy snow and winds will make visibilities near zero and wide out conditions, making travel extremely dangerous. Do not travel. Anytime I hear about a winter storm warning up here in the mountains, it's game on. Turn the key, point the steering wheel towards the mountains, and let's go get some adventure on. We've got the uh, campers parked up here. The van made it back into its spot. And then we've got Mark over here in his Toyota pickup truck, four wheel drive, with his custom built Kembo camper. Man, that like coming in hot. Right now it's freezing, blowing snow out across here. This is adventure, guys. Oh, man. Definitely a freaking blizzard out there, that is for sure. So, got some pretty cool things coming out with living the van life over the next month or so. One of those cool things coming up is the opportunity to be working with Trayvax. Trayvax is a wallet company that is actually based here in Bellingham and it's got a really cool backstory to it. In fact, Mark, who's camping right next to me here, is the guy who started this company right in his living room. He had an idea, he had a vision and a dream, and he's been chasing it. In fact, while we're up here camping in the snow, they're filming a documentary series about myself and my backstory and living the van life, and it's actually gonna be played on the Trayvax YouTube channel. I'll put a link to the Trayvax channel right above here, so be looking for those videos coming out. One of the other cool things that Mark's got going is his Kimbo campers. Mark came up with this idea one day when he decided that he wanted to have the freedom of being able to get in your vehicle and hit the road. So the Kimbo campers were born. Nonetheless, light is getting thin outside, so I wanna jump over to Mark's camper, do a little bit of a tour while I've got light. We'll catch you guys in a bit. Yo, yo. Hey, what's up, come on in. If you guys are interested in checking out the tour of Mark's Kimbo Camper, I'm gonna do a whole separate video of that. Click the link right above here in the top right hand corner. Next up, I'm gonna get this van all hunkered down for this blizzard storm that's going down outside, get it ready for some camping, and we're gonna cook some food. It is definitely blizzard-like conditions outside right now. The wind, I'm guessing, is probably gusting between 40 and 45 miles an hour the snow coming down hard it's definitely crazy outside but to be here tucked inside the van with the heater going staying warm enjoying van life i can't get enough of this winter camping especially with this kind of shelter definitely very thankful for the volkswagen van again 
it's time to throw some food on the grill. We're gonna do a little bit of a different grill setup today with a skillet over a propane bottle top burner. In the past, I've always had a really great response from you guys anytime that I've cooked a meal in my van. This time, we're gonna do it with an all out blizzard coming down outside. If you guys are interested in watching the whole entire cooking in a van in a blizzard video, make sure and click the link right above here in the top right hand corner. For tonight's meal, I went to the Mexican market down in Bellingham and I picked up some fajita seasoned chicken. Guys, they know how to do it right. And for $2.49 a pound, I mean one pound's more than enough for one person. It's already prepared, you throw it on the grill, in the skillet, and the flavor you just can't beat. In a short few minutes you got yourself some amazing grilled chicken. To go along with it I brought some green peppers, I brought onions and some garlic. All of that while it's absolutely coming down outside. Winter storm in full effect, everything exactly the way we wanted it for a true van adventure up here in the North Cascades of Washington. Nice, delicious, home-cooked meal on wheels. Wow. There's something about it that tastes delicious when it's so simple. I came in here earlier the tracks have been completely covered up and out here there's no trace that we even arrived out here it's dark the snow is blowing hard you can see just about how much snow we've had since I've been here That's what I'm talking about right there guys. Winter storm in full effect and we're camping in a van and freaking loving it. We just cooked a wonderful meal. We got the shelter of the van. Now we're gonna kick back, listen to some music, just enjoy life as it is to be. So we totally got what we came here for last night. A crap ton of snow. Look at this. Snow completely covering the van. Look at the windshield just like snowed over. Let's see if we get a little peek outside here. Yes. Look at that. Get dressed, get warmed up, and then start figuring out how we're gonna get out of here. We've got a plethora of different methods that we've prepared ourselves with. Uh, first off, we got snow chains, so if worse comes to worse, we got snow chains. We've got max tracks some traction devices that we can put down. We got a shovel so we can do some digging. Coming into situations like this, that's the best thing you can do is just come prepared with all your different tools that you need to manage the situation. The thing is I love about situations like this, no matter how bad it gets, if you're living in your van, you've got everything you need to survive. So if you're stuck for a while, at least you've got shelter, you've got heat, you got means to cook food. So that's kind of the cool thing about living in your van and coming to do this. Definitely got some snow last night. Things got deep. The van and the Toyota with the Kimbo are definitely buried inside here. Look at the side of my van, the, the snow drifts that have come in on top of that. It's just freaking crazy. The van looks like a freaking igloo right now. There's snow up all around it. Completely snowed in. Definitely a good winter camp out right here. That particular scenario is exactly why we carry Max Tracks with us. They sit right on top of my luggage rack. We're gonna slip this right underneath that uh, spinning wheel. Just 
like that. A little bit of max tracks, a little bit of shoveling. You get yourself out of there. Well, the good news is we got the Vanagon out. See the hole that it left uh, behind us there, so that's how much snow we got last night. We got so much snow that uh, it's turning out that uh, the four-wheel drive is uh, no match for the snow either. It looks like we're driving an igloo out of the snow. It's gonna be tricky getting out of here. Back up, hold it right there, okay. Okay, now try it. And there you go guys, the Max Tracks. They come to the rescue. I'm so thankful that uh, I've got these things on board with me. Without having these Max Tracks on board, for a scenario like this, uh, life would have been a lot different of trying to get that thing out this morning. All right guys, so there we've got it. Mark from Trayvax. He's gotta get back to work. I've gotta get the van organized and get back to work myself, so Mark. It was nice to meet you all. Thanks for the tour of the, of the Kimbo and uh, thanks for camping out. Thanks man. It yeah, is man. good to meet you all. Take care, have a good day. There we go guys. It's another winter camping adventure in the history books in the old Westphalia. The snow came down. The wind blew. It was definitely an all-out blizzard. If you guys haven't subscribed to the channel yet, make sure and click that subscribe button. Make sure and hit the like button. Guys, it's stuff like that that really gets the videos out there. Also, leave your comments in the comments down below. I want to hear what you guys think about stuff like this. I want to hear about your guys' winter adventures and the different stuff that you guys encounter when you're out adventuring in your van, your RV, your truck, your car, whatever it may be. Anyways, guys, thanks so much for being part of the channel. Peace out. Keep on trucking.